Count to 7,000 for me, please. Count to 7,000? Yes, sir. Wow. That's One, it. Beautiful. Two, You're going to talk to Kurt. Uh, I don't like what you say, rock and roll, honesty. Right ahead at it, Kurt. All right, uh, can you start out by spelling your name for us? Jim Smith, J-I-M-S-M-I-T-H. All right, Jim, um, here today, uh, getting ready to return your share lunker that you caught uh, during the share lunker season. I guess, go back and, and just tell us about that experience of, of catching that big fish. Well, that was awesome. Uh, I fished for probably 40 years before I caught my first uh, double digit fish. And it was a 10 pounder at Lake Fork. And then I caught another 10 pounder down at Falcon. And then after that, it was all sevens and eights and nines. And this one down here was unbelievable. It was, uh, we were here for about an hour before we caught that big one and uh, had probably made maybe 12 casts. Uh, caught, caught a four pounder on an A rig. And then after about a dozen casts, not catching anything, we moved about 100 yards up the bank and uh, we started catching buck bass, three, three and four pound buck bass, pretty quick. Caught a bunch of them, 15, 20 of them maybe. And then my partner, he was up in the front of the boat, and I was back here in the captain's seat taking it easy. And uh, my partner set the hook, broke his rod right in half, started hand lining in the fish, and it was a a three pounder, he swung it over the side. Right as he swung it over the side, my big fish hit on mine, Carolina rig. And I set the hook on it, and I knew right away it was a big, big fish, bigger than anyone I've ever caught before. And it started to strip the drag. I had to drag crank down pretty good, but it's still cool. Holding drag out. Went down the right side of the boat, came around the front, went down the left side of the boat, took the drag the whole time. And then uh, started to work side. And my dad got her and my, my partner picked her up. I said, that fish is huge. And so we both agreed on that. It was huge. Of course, my live well wasn't working, so we had to uh, think quick. We had enough water in there to, uh, to hold the fish, put the plugs in so it wouldn't drain back out when we were coming back to the ramp. So we came back to the ramp and went up to the uh, uh, Elm Creek uh, RV park up there and got a bucket. So we come back down to the ramp, put some more fresh water in the live well. Got a lot, a lot of water in the live wells, and as you heard from Texas Parks and Wildlife, they uh, used to meet it over at the Concho Park. So it was about maybe 10 miles away. So the timing was excellent. They came and picked up the fish. So now fast forward to the day, you're, you're getting ready to release this fish back uh, in the water. Guys, share with us some thoughts going through your mind and, and feelings you have about being able to do that. Well, that's why I really appreciate this great opportunity to get everything on film. I got from my, my buddy along here. He's got a couple of cameras on me, so we're going to do the best we can to make a, a big deal out of it. And uh, my feelings are, I hope she was happy and healthy and had a good spawn. And, I hope it does some good. The, the program, the, the uh, Sherlock program, is an awesome program. It's uh, been for many years. We've always talked about it. And uh, I've been fishing tournaments and you know club tournaments, FLW, BASS, all that for you know, 40, like I said, 40 years. I'm still hooked. <laughs> And this was your first time ever on, on OHIV? No, actually I came once in 2007, a very short trip, I was on my way to Amstead, and we only had a couple hours to fish and got out, and I threw a, a big old nine inch soft plastic uh, paddle tail swim bait, uh, caught about a seven pounder, and then I threw a little pop bar, caught a five pounder, and that was it for that trip, that was the uh, 2007, like I said. And so this is the first time I've ever been back. It was like a totally different way. When I was here in 2007, it was, it was trees. We were back in, I guess, up in the creek or something. And uh, it, was, it was totally different. This, this looks like a real lake. Can you believe this many fish have been caught out of this lake? Big ones and this many going back at one time? That's pretty I, I impressive. I cannot believe it. One of the guys up there a while ago was talking about uh, he thought it was in 2000, the year 2000. The lake uh, produced 11 share lungers. This lake, I wasn't aware of that. So that's pretty amazing. 
I've heard uh, this lake described as having a new lake effect because it being so low and then when you fill back up it's like a new lake that has 16 pounders running around in it. What's your favorite place to fish? The water. What's your favorite lake to fish? The water. <laughs> I, I fished all over the place. I, I like East Texas lakes. I like San Braver. I love San Braver. San Braver. Not as crazy about Toledo Bend, but uh, I love those clear water lakes. But this is where you got your big fish here, right? This is it. Right now, it's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm good, Don. Yeah. Gonna be sad. Will you be happy to see this fish go back in the water? Yes. Same lake, same everything, same spot. Same thing. Yep. Anything you want to add? Y'all can't follow me. They can't follow me to where I'm going to throw the <laughs> <laughs> We're going with you.